Ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention for a moment, you're all very welcome here today at our 2023 conferring ceremony. Before the ceremony commences, and for your safety and comfort, I would like to bring the following information to your attention. There are three exits in this venue, two emergency exits to the rear and one to my left. In the unlikely event of an emergency, we would ask you to proceed directly and calmly to the exit nearest to you. When exiting the building, you are asked to proceed to the assembly point, which is the car park on the east end of the building, which is to my right. In preparation for the ceremony, I would ask guests to please turn off their mobile phones. Please be aware that this event will be live streamed online and photographed. If you can please stand for the graduate procession. can all remain standing for the academic procession. Please be seated. Aini Erika, Aini Ushla, Falcha Rove, Gideon Sherman is shot in a run for Davachtani, or Didikish, a rave came ahead on Chalajta. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this graduation ceremony at which third level awards will be conferred on graduates of Griffith College Cork. 
Our panel members include Dr. Tomás Macochagón, Registrar and Director of Academic Programmes, Deputy Lord Mayor, Councillor Mick Finn, Kevin Gagan, Director uh, and Head of the Global Engagement Office in Griffith College, Ronan Fenlon, Director of Griffith College, Noel Daly, Deputy Head of Griffith College Cork, along with programme directors and faculty lecturers involved in the delivery of the programmes. I'm Eamon Nolan, Head of Academic Programmes at Griffith College, and I have the pleasure of being your MC for this graduation ceremony. Contusa Corlish de Himachti, Ira Manish, Aaron Doctor, Tomas Mokokogon, Sturahor Akadul, Akadul, Kalosh de Ikriafa, Lord Le Ling Horkian Nakemaha. I would now like to begin the proceedings by inviting Dr. Tomas Mokokogon, Griffith College, College's Registrar and Director of Academic Programmes, to deliver a comparing address. Distinguished guests, Colleagues, graduands, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm delighted to be here today on behalf of Griffith College to confer awards on the learners here today being presented. I'm delighted to do that on behalf of all my colleagues in Griffith College and in particular on behalf of the president of Griffith College, Professor Dermot Hegarty. Uh, Dermot Hegarty would normally be here with us He's been here on every previous occasion, but unfortunately, there's a bereavement in the family and takes him on leave today for that. But he wishes us well. He's been involved in the ceremony and he wishes all the graduates here today a very successful day and future career. Today is a day for celebrating success, the success of all the graduates here, to the graduates here today, and to recognize your sustained achievements whether it's been one year, two years, three or more with the college. The sacrifices you've made to reach those achievements and to meet the standards set for you by national and international accreditation bodies. Congratulations, well done, I'm delighted that you're here. On behalf of the college and all of us, we'd like to thank you for choosing and for spending your years with us as you developed and grew in the profession that you are joining. It's been a pleasure and a privilege to watch you grow and to be part of your growth and your career. Today we're delighted to formally acknowledge and celebrate your success and to allow you return to your families and friends and partners as successful graduates of Griffith College. Your path to success was not always easy. And you did benefit, I'm sure, many times from the support of family, partners, and friends who shared trials and tribulations, who prepared meals for you, and put up with your inevitable odd mood here and there as you were getting assignments done or working in the college, and readily accepted the, the stress you were so relieved to pass on. So in the time-honored tradition of Griffith College, we're going to invite, ask all the parents to stay seated, all the parents and friends to say seated while we ask the graduands to stand up. I would now like to invite all the graduands to turn around to have a look maybe and find their parents or friends and family in the audience and to express their thanks for the support they've received over the years in whatever way you wish. Please be seated. We don't mean to take away from your day, we know it's your day, but it's a collective day as well. It's a celebration for you and all your families and friends, partners and loved ones. So treasure this special moment, it will live vividly in your memory for years to come. An academic award is not an entitlement of rank or class. It's achieved through hours of mental toil and diligent application. No one can take this award from you. So wear your gown with pride and hold your qualification in the high esteem that it deserves and that you deserve. On behalf of the college president, I would like to acknowledge the contribution to your success of colleagues in Griffith College, members of board, lecturers, administrators, librarians, faculty members, 
and all those who shared the journey with you as you studied in Griffith College. I'm delighted to welcome here today our distinguished guest, Councillor Mick Flynn, Mick Finn, Deputy Lord Mayor and former Mayor of Cork from 2018 to 2019. McVinn was the Youth Service Development Manager for Cork ETB from 2017 to date. He's a former chairman of St. Finbar's Senior Hurling and also a member of UCC's City Darkness into Light Organising Committee. And we will have the pleasure of listening to Mick shortly. Today, as we gather to celebrate your success, we also acknowledge the pivotal role that education higher education in particular here today plays and the potential it offers to shape and provide a sustainable and prosperous future for us all. Next year we look forward in Griffith to celebrating the 50th anniversary of the college. It has been an honour for Griffith College to play its part in designing and providing higher education throughout this half century to over 40,000 graduates. It's a legacy of excellence and innovation and impact, which you now, as graduates, continue. As we look back on that half century, let us also cast our mind forward to the challenges of the 21st century. Of these, none is more pressing today than the existential threat of climate change. Clearly, we need to recognize the impact of our lifestyles on the planet gifted to us. We're just birds of passage, but we owe it to our children, our children's children, and the generations to come to respect the planet for all of us who share it. Of equal concern must surely be the impact of recent conflicts, such as in Ukraine, Israel, and Gaza on the future of the planet. Many of us thought years ago with the collapse of the Iron Curtain and the Berlin Wall that these things were in the past and that the courageous peacemaking of Yitzhak Rabin brought an end to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. However, recent wars have shown us that history has a habit of repeating itself and it will require and does require the best minds to resolve such conflicts. Considering the two challenges, the first one of climate change, Griffith hopes to play its part and is playing its part. All its modules, all its subjects, all its disciplines recognize the need for sustainability. It's part of our curricula. It's brought into all the modules. Our students do projects and think about how we can have a smaller footprint, how we can make the world work into the future. We recognize the circular economy and the need to manage it carefully. We know the EU directives that are coming and the need to make sure that however long the supply chain is, there is no modern human slavery involved in cheap labor at some part in the world. We need to protect the world and all that's right. Through our EU partners and projects, we're working on sustainability projects across all our disciplines, integrating it into our modules. And more locally, in this college and throughout the colleges in Dublin and Limerick, we're looking at our buildings, conserving, renewing, retrofitting, and making them sustainable. In terms of the conflict and global understanding, we believe in Griffith we are uniquely blessed. As a college, we have the most international, diverse community of learners in the country. We are uniquely privileged that when we think about student projects, a student group of maybe four students or five students in a group, that the students can be each from different continents. And they can say, how does this work with you in Asia? How does this work in Ireland? How does this work in Latin America or in Africa? That richness, that opportunity to understand and share is hugely valued. I'm old enough to remember a very different Ireland. When I went to college, it was quite different. I went to the college and there were 120 in my class. I did engineering. The one thing that was remarkable, they were all boys. So that was fairly diverse. The other thing that was there is they were all Irish. 
So the opportunities were very different. And the third thing that was different is that on graduation, most people emigrate. Now we look at a situation where my children and the graduates here today live in a very, very different world. All the richness of cultures, of dance, of music, of food, of celebration that we get to enjoy and understand. And we share and benefit from that. We're not all, I suppose, we can go out and enjoy the city and experience and learn and benefit. That gives us the possibility to innovate and the possibilities and opportunities of all the employment that is here and Ireland growing again, increasing its population, increasing opportunity, and the benefit of understanding that. And also the benefit of equality, diversity, and inclusion as we understand where people are coming from and their interests, their aspirations, their religions, their way of living, and the ability to respect that and to build a world that can respect and include all. All of us here fervently wish for peace and a better world, but wishing is not enough. It falls on all of us, but you as graduates in particular, to have the opportunity of recognizing that life is so precious. And with your ability and your skill set and your contacts, the opportunity to eliminate poverty, disadvantage, discrimination and civil strife and create environments conducive to peace. This is easily said, but take comfort in all the global connections and understandings you've made. Together, you can form a community, and you have formed a community, of minds dedicated to making a difference, to affecting change on a global scale. You, graduates, are now the ones making key decisions, the ones influencing the course of history, Climate change and peace will be paramount concerns, and there may be other challenges. And you will be at the forefront of those discussions, devising solutions that safeguard our planet for generations to come. As graduates of Griffith College, you're uniquely placed to deliver on those challenges. We look forward to you increasing your influence and your success. And we know the world will be a better place, thanks to you. We graduate this month a truly international group of graduates. At this stage, the president would welcome the families in their own language. I don't have the multilingual skills that the president has, but I'll, I'll give it a go. Okay, so. Tania Kipada para Palajar, Malaysia. Dan Selamat Datang Kipada Ahli Kalawarga. Chung Gua Xie Sheng Men, Tin Ken Wu Men, Fei Chong, Gao Xing Chu Chu, Ni Men Hu, Huan Yong, Ni Men Da, Chia Chong Hu Chiao. Near our home, estudiantes brasileiros, parabens. Benvindo a suas familias. Studenti italiani, congratulazioni. E benvenuti alla vostra famiglia. And much nearer home to Irish graduates, Fajrov, August Cogordicus, Liv Galer. Whatever your nationality, don't hesitate to set your sights on the pinnacle of your profession. Your standards are set by alumni of Griffith College who last year took 17 prizes in international accountancy examinations. So far this year, 19 prizes across all accounting bodies. These include a first in the world for ACCA, 542,000 students across the world do ACCA, and we're delighted to have a first in the world amongst our students. Six first places in subjects in ACCA in Ireland, and 12 first places in the Irish CPA examinations. In media, in 2022, communications and media alumni include Aoife O'Mara, Student of the Year for Journalism relating to Science and Technology at the S Media Awards, and Anna Montero, finalist in both Grad Ireland Undergraduate Difference Maker of the Year 
and in the European movement, my EU50 student competition. As a Griffith graduate, your future might be one of the following. Minister for Justice, Minister of State at the Department of Foreign Affairs, Managing Partner of KPMG, CEO of Citibank Ireland, Chief Financial Officer of Ryanair, first female jockey to win the Grand National, Dublin Chamber's youngest ever president, playing for Ireland in the Rugby World Cup, the owner of Home Store and More, best-selling author or Love Island TV presenter. <laughs> All of these functions are or have been held by alumni of Griffith College. Think about it. For the college, it's our part to match your success with our endeavours as well, so that you are proud to call yourself a Griffith graduate. Your awards are recognised nationally by Quality and Qualifications Ireland and internationally through the Bologna and the European frameworks. Working in seeking delegated authority, which we look forward to receiving very shortly, we are working to have the opportunity that our degrees will be recognised as university degrees along the lines of the technological universities most recently announced. And that's our mission. If the President were here, he would remind us that nothing is achieved without some stress and strain. And that as we get older, we greatly value the diminishing capacity of memory. The President would recall the memory difficulties of a friend who sat in a restaurant with his wife, trying to recall the name of a restaurant where they had eaten the previous week. He called to the waitress and asked her, please tell me the name of a flower. The waitress responded, rose? And he said, no. Tulip? He said, no. Lily? Ah, yes, Lily. He turned to his wife and said, Lily, what was the name of the restaurant we were in <laughs> last week? From this, I hope you will all understand the stresses and strains undergone by the graduates here as, and lectures at exam time. As you leave Griffith today, remember that you are not alone. You are part of a community that spans continents, a legacy that spans generations. Draw strength from your alma mater, from the knowledge that you were equipped not only with the skills and expertise to excel, but far more importantly, with the insights, understanding, and connections to lead with integrity, respect, and purpose. As you step into this world of boundless potential, remember the words of Mahatma Gandhi, you must be the change you want to see in the world. The power to effect change lies within each of you, and I've no doubt that you will rise to the occasion, leaving an indelible mark on this world with brilliance, compassion and unwavering determination. To all our graduates, may I express the hope that over your period with us, Griffith College will have found a place in your heart as you have in ours. I want you to know that you're always welcome on campus, socially, educationally, or just to update on your success. May I conclude by congratulating you again, by wishing that you harness the knowledge and experience you've acquired in Griffith College to achieve what you richly deserve, a successful and fulfilling career. Thank you. Ina Manish Aaron Lass Ardvera, on Corlior Mick Finn, Lord Leonard Rave Kemaha. I would now like to invite Deputy Lord Mayor Councillor Mick Finn to address the graduates. Good uh, Vice President, members of the panel, directors, heads of school, and most importantly, graduates and their families and support networks. Uh, Dave Galeer, I was a hard head in a dull tea, a ta egde in of Kema in Yuv, I was boiled the clown. Kogardigus live, I was Kogardigus the Mutori Lectori, I was Furin Banishtik the Kalash de Griffith. Hello to everybody this afternoon uh, and welcome. I add my words of welcome to the Vice President and congratulations uh, to all our graduating students, their families, and support teams. 
Uh, well done also to the lecturers and college staff and management on turning out the graduate class of 2023. Today, as you all know, and you don't need me to tell you, is the culmination of a lot of hard work, sacrifice, and to repeat the Vice President, dare I say it, stress, for all the students across the courses and disciplines. And I hope that the celebrations in this space today, and indeed those to come later, will help to get over the traumas and little crises that always hallmark studies, no matter how well you are prepared and focused. But I think it's important to remember the obstacles and difficulties that you may have encountered along the way as you celebrate your achievement with family and friends. Because just like life itself, it is how you surmounted those to get to this point will pro propel your efforts and ambitions into the future. And while it may not be written on your scroll, dedication, resilience and courage permeate the degrees, the diplomas, the qualifications that you will have in your hand later today, and to me are just as important as the subject areas of your qualification. As we know, Griffith College is the largest independent third level institution and is a hugely respected and well established education provider in Cork and next year, as was mentioned, will celebrate 25 years and 50 years nationally. And I think that too deserves to be acclaimed and celebrated and along with those who lead the college today, can I pay tribute to all those who came before and helped build Griffith College into what it is. This building, it's my first time actually in, in this chapel, uh, and this building, as everybody in Cork knows, is an iconic one, having housed the Marymount Hospice for decades. And I think it's great to see it continuing as a center of inspiration, learning, and humanity, albeit in a much different style of service. I note that Griffith College, again, as mentioned, also supports many community events in Cork and around the county, and one of the, those being Pieta and Pieta House as is very close to my heart as the coordinator of the Cork Darkness Into Light, which is there for people and for students and for individuals that need it. A dream unfolding is how someone explained the ongoing history of this campus to me during the week. And I think today's graduation is also a dream unfolding for all of you. And while it's the end of this particular chapter, it will surely open up avenues to further areas of research, learning and opportunities and employment. And this is what education is about. It is what Griffith College is about, and it is why Cork is designated a learning city and is renowned around the world as an exemplar, which I recently heard at a global network event in Shanghai. I suppose I can empathise with the, the challenges that the graduates here in front of us um, you know, may have had during the year, in that I embarked on a course myself um, just a number of months ago, but had to stop after five weeks, having missed three of the classes. Uh, so I know that life sometimes can get in the way of studies uh, and life in all its demands and asks. But you have today have shown that those you have surmounted those challenges, you have overcome them to get where you want to be. One co quote I recall from the days when I worked as an adult education lecturer at third level is that education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. So I would say well done to the class of 2023 seize the moment and a message that I gave to primary and secondary school students when I visited them in my year as Lord Mayor was that we're often told what we can't do and what I would suggest to you today if coming and leaving here today is concentrate on what you can. So congratulations and best of luck for the future. Got with me. Anish Bawalam Falcha Kurul, Gudi and Hidda Shodan Ochod, in a run for Kalak di Nashunta, Augus Idr Nashunta, a rave came a on Halajta. I now welcome you to the part of our proceedings at which national and international awards will be conferred on graduates of the college, and I declare open this award ceremony. Iremer and Clara Hor, Dr. Tomas Machogan, Kalich di Nashunta, Agus Ida Nashunta, Avrono Ernarev Kemaha, Da Herbert Egon Galashta. I now call upon Dr. Tomas Machogan, Registrar of Griffith College, to confer awards on the graduates of this college presented by the college for that purpose. In this section here, we formally confer the graduates with their awards, and after this conferring, they become graduates of the college. They're registered in the records of the college. 
in the records of the accreditation bodies and your graduates from your program. I know you've done the work many months ago, you've passed all your exams, but this is where it's formally registered. We do so both in Irish and in English. Har kjaun kalashti grefa, agus korla darvu, kalikti agus kalikti erin, brunam kalikti er aulamorian kalashta, of when kaidonamak, ilenda kalikti, agus erin gagurter na faulamori fima vride, kun garfaderlum quid par, a harbor doiv garfiramul. On behalf of Griffith College and Quality and Qualifications Ireland, I hereby confer the awards on the learners of the college who have achieved the standards determined for those awards, and I ask that those learners be presented to me so that I may formally present them with their parchments. Anish Iram Er Emma McCarthy, Stuart Hor Clar, Lord Lenar Kemaha. I call upon Emma McCarthy, Programme Director, to present graduates in respect of the Griffith Institute of Languages programmes. Graduates of the Certificate in International Foundation Studies, Registrar, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is my great privilege to celebrate our SIFS graduates today. It is wonderful to have the opportunity to see these learners take their first steps into higher education and to have been able to support and guide them along the way. The Certificate in International Foundation Studies provides a bridge between learners' previous education and the Irish higher education system. As such, it helps to prepare them for life in an Irish higher level institution, fostering their academic skills, independent learning and critical thinking skills, while providing extra guidance, pastoral care and support with progression pathways. First and foremost, I want to extend my congratulations to each and every one of you. Your dedication, hard work and commitment have led you to this moment. Leaving your home country to come and study in a different country and often in a different language is no easy task and you should all be really very proud of what you've achieved. As we celebrate your achievements, we also look forward to the promising future that lies ahead. As you embark on your higher education, you will find that the journey may be challenging, but it will also be filled with opportunities for personal and intellectual growth. I'm delighted to see the majority of graduates continue their education with Griffith College, Cork and Dublin, but also with UCC, MTU, IT Carlo, the University of Leicester, um, in courses including architecture, aerospace engineering and robotic engineering, to name but a few. I'd like to give a special thank you to the lecturers who have been inspirational and very supportive of their learners and to the administration and management here in Cork and in Dublin. Finally, I'm delighted to offer sincere congratulations to Lul Tesfei, who received the prize for best academic achievement. <laughs> Registrar, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed the Certificate in International Foundation Studies and who are worthy of the QQI Award. Karin Natasia Binti Carmizi. <laughs> Michelle Undiza Brown. Pei Tung Chai. <laughs> Alonso Fernandez. <laughs> 
Elsa Mia Irikose. Anne Marie Joshua. Joy Rose Ogola. Giovanni Paolo Petanel. Elvis Mark Serenjoji. Lul Tesfe. Anish Iram Er, Brian O'Grady, Stuart O'Clar, Lert Leonard Kemaha. I call upon Brian O'Grady, Programme Director, to present graduates in respect of the college's degree in accounting and finance. Hello and welcome. Um, every so often we get a group of students in our accounting and finance programme who are exceptional and who perform exceptionally well. Um, individuals outperform norm, who outperform norms emerge every year and at every graduation. But when an entire group does that, it's invigorating and quite exciting for everyone concerned, uh, especially the lecturers. And it's still a bit of a mystery, frankly, as to why it occurs. As education providers, we pride ourselves on consistency and ensuring that the same standards of marking and teaching are maintained every year. Our learners and grades that are ex strictly benchmarked to national and international standards, which is what underpins the value and the degrees of the business of the, excuse me, the, the value of the degrees we are conferring here today. But then every so often something happens in a group and an entire year of students will just excel collectively. Whether it is driven by a group dynamic, a few talented or perhaps charismatic <laughs> individuals, internal competition or group collaboration and an esprit de corps. This is a phenomenon that crops up in all human endeavors, sports, business, politics, arts. And this year, that phenomenon re-emerged in our degree program. All these criteria combined in the form of standout individuals, while collaboration and competition all came together to increase the performance and results of all students. For the class of 23, this cluster of exceptional performance translated into marks, 5 H1s and 24 H2s from a group of 50 is good work, and all marks were good. All degrees are a huge achievement, but H1s are an especially big deal and achievement. So congratulations to all our graduates this year, including, to highlight just some, uh, James Denhan from Cork, who studied part-time, or our student of the year, Christina Mora from Brazil, for her contribution to lectures throughout the year, and to Wei Sen Lo from China, who topped our results with an average of 79.88% across all his subjects. To all our graduates, congratulations on your achievement and effort, and thank you for all for your hard work, attention, and interaction. I hope today begins to show the value of what you have achieved here. Registrar, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed the BA in Accounting and Finance program and who are worthy of their QQI awards. Noor Adriana Zahi Abdul Khalid. <laughs> Yurin Christina Binti Abdul Rahman. Nurul N. Pinti Adenan. <laughs> e. 
Eli Balbino of Vieira. Edna Boff. Frankie Condon. James Danahan. Tom Dennehy. Mark Dolan. Flavia de Fatima Dominguez de Lima. <laughs> Laura Greeley. Nana Gebesiliana, and he did Lucia Habrovska. Mark Kennedy. Cher Hsien Lim. <laughs> Wei Sang Lo. Althea Lonergan. <laughs> Mikolaj Maslas. <laughs> Sophia Alicia Mata Averifin. Nuralia Ciara Mood Mzawawi. <laughs> Christine Mora. Rachel Moynihan. <laughs> Masiri Finn Muaz. <laughs> Mirren O'Sullivan. Michelle Olivo Fiorentino. <laughs> Sh 
Shafika, oh, excuse me, <laughs> Shafika Yusrini Yusri. Anish Iramer Breed McCarthy, Stuart O'Clor, Lord Lenar Kemaha. I call Breed McCarthy, Programme Director, to present graduates in respect of the College's QQI Business Studies degree and International Commercial Management Certificate programmes. Hello and welcome. I am very pleased to be here to join you in celebrating this wonderful occasion. First of all, congratulations to all of you. You should be very, very proud of yourselves for accomplishing this goal. Our Level 8 BA Honours in Business students who are graduating this evening should be particularly proud. All of these students displayed such dedication and commitment over the last three years, whilst always maintaining a great sense of camaraderie. They commenced their degree in the midst of a global pandemic where education as we know changed dramatically. And rather than being daunted by the task of starting a new chapter in their education in such uncertain times, they rose to the challenge. The level of motivation and determination was astounding. Their tremendous hard work was very worthwhile as all are graduating with excellent results, which is a fantastic achievement. Congratulations to Hayley Murphy, who received the overall highest grade in the BA Honours in Business, graduating with a first class honours degree this evening. Hayley has continued to postgraduate study and is completing a professional Master of Education in UCC in post-primary teaching. She is currently on placement teaching business and accounting in Kalashta on Cree Nefa. I had the pleasure of lecturing the business management and marketing modules on this degree, but it was the business plan module where so many students really excelled. I was highly impressed with the entrepreneurial spirit and creative ideas that highlighted the diverse and increasingly cosmopolitan nature of Irish society. This year's business plans made incredibly interesting reading and included such businesses as pet daycare and boarding, a pottery studio, a physiotherapy clinic, a forest school, cafes, food trucks, an Italian bakery, an organic food shop, an artisan wine shop, a mortgage consultancy, and a HR consultancy. Our ICM students who are graduating this evening should also be particularly proud. All of these students displayed such dedication and commitment and an astounding level of motivation and self-directed learning. Lecturers commented on the unwavering professionalism and commitment shown by these students as they completed a myriad of practical assignments, including digital marketing campaigns, leadership case studies, and project management briefs. It was great to see people approaching their assignments and exams with such passion and enthusiasm. A number of our ICM graduates have decided to continue with this level of dedication and progress to further study at Griffith College, and are now completing other diplomas and our level eight degree in business. So to conclude, it is not just the knowledge that you have gained in your time with Griffith College, it is what you will do with that knowledge. In the words of William Butler Yeats, education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. Hopefully studying at Griffith College has instilled a lifelong thirst for further knowledge. Best of luck in all your future endeavors. Registrar, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed programmes in the business faculty and are worthy of the QQI and ICM awards. And I request you to present their award parchment to them. So, BA Honour in Business. Quentin Breen. Jessica Burke. <laughs> Jessica 
Anya Connolly. Kira Curtin. Olivia Cusson. <laughs> Lucas de Olivia Camorsa. <laughs> David Dempsey. Dermot Doherty. <laughs> Luke Ford. Sarah Gamboni. <laughs> Ellen Gomez de Rocha. <laughs> Sandra Harrington. Andrea Houlihan. <laughs> Mark Kenny. <laughs> Velichka Kovachka. Liam Maber. <laughs> Deirdre Murphy. <laughs> Haley Murphy. Trish Mushangwe. <laughs> Jose Miguel Sepulveda Medina. Francisca Vera Galdames. <laughs> so, Diploma in Business Management, Sebastian Cano Gallego. Shane Giles. <laughs> Kian McParland. <laughs> Jean.
Diploma in Leadership Skills, Naomi Cahill. Keely Neenan. James Peter O'Sullivan. Called Syria O'Sullivan. Tony O'Sullivan. <laughs> Diploma in Project Management, Eilish Fleming. <laughs> Oleg Ainozemtev. Alexander Ivanov. <laughs> Alexander's Kaminskis. <laughs> Graham Johan. Richard Kirby. <laughs> Sergei Simonov. <laughs> Certificate in Online Marketing and Digital Strategy, Julia Afonso Hegarty. As we conclude our conferring awards, I'd like to invite everyone to give a special apologies. Is there somebody else? Okay, yeah. There's a, a late graduate in the back. Come on. Brian, Brian O'Grady will confer the award. Yeah, so it's comparing um, a Bachelor in Accounting and Finance to Zoo Zoo, please. <laughs> Special round of applause, you made it. As we conclude our conferring ceremony, I'd like to invite everyone to give a special round of applause to all our graduates here today and their fellow graduates online. The college now has the pleasure of announcing a number of prizes which are to be awarded to graduates who have achieved excellence in their studies. Um, the following prizes uh, are awarded in respect of the college's programmes. I call upon Noel Daly, Deputy Head of Griffith, Griffith College Cork, to present the prizes. The first prize is in uh, relation to the Certificate in International Foundation Studies. 
The best academic achievement on the Certificate in International Foundation Studies is awarded to Lul Tespaya. The next award is in respect of the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Accounting and Finance. The best academic achievement on the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Accounting and Finance is awarded to Wei Seng Lo. And the next award is uh, in respect of the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Business. The best academic achievement on the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Business is awarded to Haley Murphy. The final prize is a college-wide prize awarded to the Griffith College Graduate of the Year from across all programmes in the college. I call upon Dr. Tomás Machochagón, Registrar of Griffith College, to present the prize. The Griffith College Cork Graduate of the Year is awarded to Christine Mora. This concludes our prize giving ceremony. Aini Yerecha, Aini Ushla, Kurum Kriachlesh and Shermanisha, Kondavachtani, Avrona, Afaula Mori on Kalajde, Verum Buichus Liv Galer. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the ceremony for the purpose of conferring awards on the graduates of the college. My best wishes and thanks to you all. While the graduates are here with us, I'd like to take this opportunity to briefly mention the Griffith College Alumni Network. With over 40,000 graduates living in Ireland, Europe, and in over 104 countries around the world, the network is an excellent way to stay in touch with classmates, fellow graduates, and the college. The network is also proving to be a valuable resource for graduates seeking or changing employment. As we move towards our 50th anniversary, we're also delighted to see our graduates from earlier years using it to recruit Griffith graduates to meet their own organization's needs. Details about the network are available on GriffithAlumniNetwork.com and from the alumni section of the college's website. On behalf of the college, I would like to invite all the guests of the graduates here today to enjoy a glass of wine or a cup of tea or coffee in the newly refurbished student lounge on the first floor of the East Campus. I would ask the graduates to oblige us with a few more minutes of their time while we take photographs to remember just how wonderful they all look today. Once the photographs have been taken, the graduates can join their guests and celebrate their achievements together in style. For now, we wish you every joy and happiness in celebrating your success with your close friends throughout the day. As a token, we have a small box of chocolates for everyone as we head our separate ways. In the meantime, please stay safe and well. Please stand for the academic procession. Thank you.